Hello everyone and welcome back to Riot Graphics. So have you ever wondered how custom sized adbots like these are created in the same documents? You know, for logo design presentations and poster designs, you know, you want to work in the same document. You don't want to create different documents with different adbot sizes. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to get this done in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just get right in. So I'm going to create a new document, pressing Ctrl N on my keyboard, and then I'm going to set my size. I'm going to be using this custom 500 by 500 pixels, and I'm going to just choose four adboards, it's fine. So I'm going to click on Create. So we have these four adboards. If you create a default document in Illustrator, you get the same size that you you set initially when creating that document but how do we now edit so the easiest way is just come to your toolbar and then you click on this adboard tool or you press shift o on your keyboard when you do that it takes you to the adobe illustrator opens up the edit adboard mode automatically for you so right here now, if you click on any adboard, you can easily edit, you can transform it to whichever size you want. So let's, let's just create something from this. So I'm going to click away and then I want to enter the edit mode again. I'm just going to press shift O again on my keyboard and I'm going to, let's, let's, let's use something like, uh, Let's, let's have something like this, you know, let's click on this and then once you click on the artboard, it's, you can, you'll be able to edit it and then you click on this and then you can copy artboards also. So if I want to copy this now, I'm just going to hold alt to copy. Then I want it to be on a straight line. So I'm going to press shift for it to be on a straight line. So I'm just going to drop it here like so. I want this artboard to come right here. So I'm just going to drag this like so. And then I want to copy these two artboards, two of them. I'm going to click on this, hold shift, click on this also, and then alt and shift to copy it to the other side, like this. So right here we have you know we have this custom size at boards i can put something here i can put something here i can put a different size thing here if you want to exit the edit at board mode you can just press escape on your keyboard or you just click out you go back to the um selection tool and then let's say you already have your sizes but you you want a, a, a specific size you know and you want to impute it manually so all you need to do is go to windows and then you bring up your artboard you go to artboard so it opens up here's mine i'm going to drag this up like so and once you want to do that you make sure your artboard the one you want to edit you've clicked on it i want to edit this edit this so this is it i'm just going to come to this icon right here and then just click on it so as you can see it brings up this dialog box and he shows me on the board that this is the artboard we are editing. All other artboards have been disabled. And this is the only one that's active. So I can just change the size right here. Let's say I want it to be 1000 by 500 pixels. You know, you want to impute it manually. This will change the size and this will move the artboard to a different position. So I'm just going to click OK. As you can see, the artboard has been increased in width. So I can click on um, the artboard tool to enter the edit artboard mode and then shift, hold, click and drag to shift the artboard in size, like so. So go back to your selection tool and then let, let's say you want to constrain the size. Let's go back to the edit mode. And then let's say you want a, a certain size, like um, like this constraint properties, constraint proportions. 
you want to constrain the proportion let's say you want a one ratio two one ratio three or you just need to like this is not one ratio two ratio one you know constrain the property so if i change this size to let's say 2000 the height also will change to 1000 let's click away so you can see you can see that it changed 2000 1000 that's because you constrained the proportions so if you don't want to constrain the proportion you want to edit the width and height independently you uncheck the box and then you let's say we change it to 1500 and then click ok the artboard size increases and then I want to enter the artboard edit mode so I can shift it you know po position it properly like so you know and then I can just you know you can just click and drag it to your side once you are in the artboard edit mode just change the size to whatever you want easy and um, fast and easy like that so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video kindly smash that like button and if you're new here make sure to subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace